Hey guys, Davey here from phonebuff.com and in this video we're doing a short little review on the C-Pen accessory for the Samsung Galaxy S3. I know a lot of you S3 owners out there are kind of curious about the C-Pen, wondering how well it works on the Galaxy S3 and also wondering if it was similar to the S-Pen on the Galaxy Note. So hopefully I can answer some of those questions here in this video. But first I want to show you the pen itself. At first glance you can see, you know, it looks just like your ordinary pen. Of course we have the Samsung logo here on the little clip and at the tip, of course, we don't have ink, we have a capacitive stylus. And unlike your ordinary capacitive stylus, it's not, you know, fat and squishy. It's actually, you know, rather thin and uh, hard, so, you know, I can't really squish this guy in. So it's definitely going to give you more precise input than your typical capacitive stylus. Let's go ahead and, you know, test it on the Galaxy S3. So, I have S-Memo open, we'll open up a new note. And I'll just go ahead and write a little bit so you guys can kind of see how it works. So I'll write, hi there. This is the C pen. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but when I wrote the high, I mean, it looks like an N actually. I actually started it up at least over here and uh, it didn't register. And that's something I've noticed, you know, since I've been using it. When I'm writing at an angle like this, uh, you know, using the side of the stylus, um, it doesn't register all the time. You kind of have to press a little bit harder for it to really get it. You know, if you're going flat on like this, it's pretty good. I mean, you're never gonna really have to actually apply some pressure. But when you do go from the side angle like this, you are gonna have to. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, another thing to keep in mind too, something that I've noticed, is that sometimes there's a little bit of lag when you're you know, writing. Uh, let's see if I could actually duplicate it. Usually, you know, when I try to do videos like this, I can't for the life of me duplicate it, but hopefully we can. So let's go ahead and write phone buff, phone buff is a phone enthusiast okay it's not gonna work anyway um, you get the idea you know I mean it does work pretty well you know it's definitely a lot more accurate than your typical stylus I mean it's a, little, it's a lot harder to write with those you know fat squishy ones um, I could definitely feel like you know I, I could write you know smaller so if I wanted to write like like that I can you know something small where you know with the ordinary styles I have to write at least like that big so Oh, there you go. So I don't know if you guys saw that, but when I dotted the I right over there, it did lag a little bit. I'm glad that happened. So anyway, yeah, so there's, sometimes there's millisecond lag. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, really, but something to keep in mind nonetheless. Um, overall, you know, I do like the C pen. You know, I do feel like it gives you more precise input when it comes to a stylus on the Galaxy S3. And it's made specifically for the Galaxy S3. I mean, so much so that it doesn't even work with the capacitive buttons where, you know, your typical ordinary stylus does. So that's something, you know, to keep in mind as well. Um, speaking of, you know, it working specifically for the Galaxy S3, let's go ahead and test it on the Galaxy Nexus here. I mean, this is a Samsung device, but as you can see, no response whatsoever from the touchscreen where on the you know, Galaxy S3, the C pen works perfectly fine. I mean, it's not even just using an S memo. I mean, it works, you know, everywhere, just like you would think, and definitely is really, really accurate. So that's something, you know, I like. Kind of weird how it doesn't work with the capacitive buttons. I wish Samsung, you know, would have made it, but I think it's the way they programmed it to work as far as, you know, with the touch with software or with the screen. Um, I mean, you get better input as a result, but at the same time, you don't get, you know, some of the functions of being able to use the capacitive buttons, which it's something that I typically like with my capacitor stylus is, let's see, what else? Oh, uh, as far as it being like the S Pen, you know, it is not. I mean, if you're coming from the Galaxy Note with the S Pen to the Galaxy S3 thinking the C Pen is going to give you the same experience, you know, you're going to be disappointed because this is a capacitor stylus. You know, the S Pen is not. The S Pen, you know, works on different technology. It's pressure sensitive, so you actually, you know, push it harder and make different kind of strokes where over here, every single time you make a stroke, it's exactly the same because the, uh, you know, the input's the same, so definitely not as accurate it is however you know more comfortable to hold in the hand I mean because it's like a real pen and you know the size is actually pretty decent you're not gonna be like cramping up so that's something to keep in mind as well but anyway that is you know it for me in this video uh, something I want to tell you guys I bought this guy on Amazon for about $20 so that's how much it costs uh, at least it costs for me online I uh, could probably you know get a better deal somewhere else I don't know but Anyway, um, overall, I'd have to say, you know, I don't think it's a must-have accessory. If you really want a stylus for your Galaxy S3, then, you know, I would go for it. I mean, if you're going to be paying $10 for, you know, ordinary capacitor stylus, I think it's worth the worth to fork out an extra $10 to get the C-Pen because, you know, it does offer you a better experience. 
but at the same time, you're not going to get that same, you know, S Pen experience that, you know, some of you guys might be expecting coming from the Galaxy Note. But thank you for watching the video. You know, if this helped you a little bit, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Thank you.